What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast, and today we've got another a Walking Dead comic review. I almost couldn't say the words. With me, as always, on this venture is Jesse. How's it going? What's going on, guys? We're at issue 164. It's A Fallen House, and uh, this is the continuation. This is the second issue in the month of February 2017, um, which is pretty awesome for us. We got we to treat yep. Two and um, I, th I think Jesse was going to be for the next couple months or something. I think if I remember reading correctly, we get it for March and maybe April. Okay. I'm not sure on that. So, one. so you guys will be getting two comic reviews a month for the next at least yeah. one or two more months. Anyway, yeah, Jess, what? Uh, so yeah, so this is uh, 164. This is the continuation, obviously, of of the Walkers invading. Uh, as you can see there on the on the uh, in the background there. They're yep. invaded. They've invaded fucking um, Alexandria, and I think it's uh, pretty crazy. This so cover was just awesome to look at. Like I, I looked at it for probably ten minutes. I, I was like, "That is some really good detail." Then again, I didn't mean to look at it for ten minutes. I was busy, but yeah. Yeah, that's. Um, I don't know. I like that. I like the Walking Dead on the horizon. Yeah, it's a, it's a great cover. It's a fantastic. And it took me. I mean, obviously, you don't notice what's in the background which is alexandria Obviously, yeah i thought alexandria. that was just like regular trees and brush and shrubs and all that yeah. no that's that's uh that is alexandria what it filled with walkers. looks like there are and thousands. that alexandria is huge yeah yeah it's real big and later in the comic in the middle of the issue you actually see like another shot of them in and i'm like holy shit you know yeah um all right so jesse you uh talking of camera you had said that you weren't um this wasn't you, too thrilled with it you weren't too thrilled with it and i said the i said the opposite i actually enjoyed it i thought this was if this was like the tv show this is one of those non-stop non-stop action things so so um it's not that i wasn't thrilled it's just it felt lacking well can i recap real quick absolutely i think you usually do recap so let me let me let me let me give this a whirl so in this episode they've overrun episode this comp this issue they've overrun the city um and or whatever the town and uh you have rick and negan hiding in the house everyone's split out in in the town and hot and hid in houses and then you have all the other groups you have um the hilltop has come is is come to alexandria they see what's happening they're like holy shit um michonne and um Heath and everyone, Eugene, uh, uh, Jesus, and, and everyone, they're all they're all doing their part still in trying to break off the herd and and dr draw them away, and um, so but that's basically what we what happens. It's uh, you know Jesse, you said you didn't like it because not much happens, but think about it. if this was shot on TV, True. you'd have that constant that the entire episode would have the constant. It'd have that constant I guess shuffling I felt it. and you know. And it then there's the tension too much on one group of people, and that was Negan and Rick. And that's something weird for me to say because I love both of those characters. Yeah, that, that's a really important though. That's a really I know. It's a really important. But I, I so we get Carl's like leadership scene, and I'm thinking, man, I really want to see more of this. I, I really do. And this like, but Negan and Rick. Well, all right, so it's like Sah. so let all right, so let's go, let's let's go into this. Let's let's go, let's go and 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 break it down. I guess, like you said, so Rick and Negan. All right, so you see here, they're they're going in, uh, they're getting in there, and Rick's not saying much, you know, obviously, and I don't blame. Him. I would have been the same way, like don't, don't yeah. fucking talk, you know, I don't want to fucking talk, you know, um, and we have classic fucking classic Negan, just just yeah, yeah. Bombs I and, think Rick says fuck you or something like that, and Negan's like. You know, there's part of me that's kind of flattered here because I think you're using right. F-bomb a little bit more with me yeah. uh, than you do normally. And it's like, God dang it, Negan. Yeah. I mean, and, and I mean, look at this shot, though. I mean, this that was fucking... Yeah, yeah. I was like, what? It's lacking to uh, me, but it's not a bad issue by any means. It's a great issue. No, I so love it. it again, I, I don't think it's lack. So you have Rick and Negan, right? Uh, yeah. This was cool, which she's blowing this, this fucking viking well, horn did we get an extended issue last time it was a little bit yeah yeah that's why it feels like never mind okay oh you so you think, that you think okay. it felt short oh all right all right um, <laughs> like not enough time was spent in the world right so we have um so we have rick and negan then we have uh, um 
again, we have a couple of things where you have Heath, Heath and Eugene talking. I totally forgot Heath lost a, lost a leg. Dude, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, wait, Heath. When lost the hell a did leg? he lose a leg? Um, I believe. Oh God, when Denise died. Oh no no no! On the war with the saviors, that's when he lost the leg. After the okay, war with the saviors, yeah, during the right, war, yeah. So so they so they have a talk, and which is pretty cool. And they talk he about how looks like old here compared to when he used to. I know. Well, dude, I mean, they they age really quickly. Yeah, yeah, just like a two year gap, and he looks like four or five years older. I know. Uh, and then we've got you know we've got uh, I was gonna call him Daryl. Uh, Dwight and his group, and they're they're still in the middle of you know there's little respites here and there. They're still in the middle of doing it. They meet up and you know they they again they're just still working on it. You know and yep. you know this is why it's this is like again imagine that and that shuffling and they and they and I imagine I, I read it in my head that they were yelling. You know like they were speaking loudly. Oh to yeah. Each other, you know um, like all right. So Negan and them they're talking and like at first I was like. Would they be whispering in this situation? It's like, nah, he just pulled him into a house after running from a walk, group well, of walkers. Said, he's going to well, be yelling. He said, well, no, he says, he says that they're, he's, um, they're going to use down. my inside. He's like, I'll use yeah. my inside voice, you know? Um, but I mean, this was, you know, uh, all right, we'll, we'll get back on this. I'm trying to get to this part. This is what I wanted to get for the other thing that happened, like you mentioned. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, very, very cool. Like he's, he's stepping up, you know? Young and, Rip Grimes. Yeah. And I liked it. You know, yeah. I liked it. And she's looking at him like, you know, and it's good because now you have Carl's grown up a bit and or a lot, a lot a bit. And he's got his own woman and he, you know, and, and I think that has something to do with it. Like he wants to be brave and protect her. And he, but he's also he's also been living with his dad and he sees how that his dad is naturally a leader. And I think he's doing that, which is really fucking cool, considering we just did the, the Walking Dead. What if about Carl becoming the lone survivor? Not for nothing, but this is this is a um, a beginning to that, right? Do you agree? Absolutely. You know, um, I really do. I really think this could be a beginning to him to seeing what what he's going to become, and I'd and I'd love to see that. You know, um, because we've been following this for so long, like I had a little bit of pride in me for Carl being what he is here, yeah. like stepping up, taking charge. I was like, oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Mm-hmm. It's great. He's not wearing the hat anymore. I mean, he hasn't for a long yeah. time, but that means he's, you know, he's not. Yeah. It's just, a, it's a thing. It's symbolic to me, you know, the fact that he doesn't wear that hat anymore, you know. Um, and then obviously at the end here. Uh, John and Sherry and I don't think I see Tara there, but. Yeah, yeah she's, she, she was there. I, thought, I Really? That's her right there, isn't it? Is it? The one in the middle. How's it? How's it look now? And he's, he's still up on the thing. Oh, yeah. Sherry's the that one. Is Tara. There she's in the, you know, she's, that's why it's like, you know. Um, but again, the same same ending as the last one. It's these guys, but now they're now they've got them all. You see, now their group is with them, yeah. and they've got the guns. So it's like see, they really step. think they're going to be able to take over, but they're not counting for they, Hilltop and them being there. Not only so. that, they don't understand. They don't understand that they're they're surviving in there. They think that they're yeah. being killed. They think that they're being overrun. And no, they're not. They're, <laughs> these people are going to go in. They're in there doing their job. <laughs> Rick already said we need to get out of here and go get weapons. So now Rick and Negan are going to get weapons, and they're about to arm the rest of the group. Like yeah. you're you're fucked, saviors. You're fucked. You know. Yeah. Um. So let's 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 just go back to Rick and, and Negan. Um. You know his his story about his wife. You know, like he opened up, and obviously we're get we're allowed to have that now because the Negan's backstory yeah. is out. And guys, if you haven't seen our video on the Negan's backstory, go check it out. But I mean, you know, basically his wife, he's up, he, he has never gotten over the fact that he left his wife um, and he didn't kill her himself or that he left her like that as, you know, and he had someone else do it. And yep. he's, he's really fucked up over it. And the biggest thing that to take away from this conversation is that he told Rick that he stopped, he's like, he stopped seeing people as humans. He goes, and that's why it's easy to bash someone's fucking head in because you know, which is fucking pretty big if you're thinking about it, man. It really is. It, uh, his, his whole like scene here is really big, you know? especially especially that part though. Yeah. Like, I don't see him as humans anymore. It's like, dang. And really? that, and, and again, and 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 that telling him I could bash someone's head in because I don't see them as humans. He essentially yeah. sees all humans as walkers, and he and what do you do to walkers? You kill them, and you don't have any 
any respect or any you know compassion for him. And he says something interesting though. If I can bash in one of the people's skulls to save another or save the rest of the group, that's what I do. It's like really. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what Rick's thinking here. I mean, I think it's he's like he does open up a little bit, and he you yeah. know, and um, and, well, I mean that's that's what happens. R- Negan asks Rick, "What's the biggest thing that you regret, basically? Of of what's the worst thing you've done?" And he says, "Live." And that's what got Negan. Let me see if I can find the pages, but um, I'm trying to scroll too fast here. But that's what that's what he says right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just it's it, I don't know. I, I really really enjoyed it. Again, they're lower they're lowered tones, right? So they're talking low. Outside is the shuffling and the growling and the, the a wave a noise of thousands of fucking dead things. On the outside, the same noise, louder, and everyone is speaking louder. Like, I just really envision, like, when this comes to TV, this is probably going to end up one of my favorites, if they do it right, which they probably will. So, that's the thing. I can imagine, because in my head, I have, like, Rick from the show and Negan from the show, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Uh, I have their voices going on in my head now. Used to, I had a completely different voice I had in my head, made up for both of them. Yeah. And... But now I have their voice, and they're talking real low like this. And Negan's like, "You know what? I know, I know what you're going through, all that, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But what's the worst thing you've ever done?" And like, when when that's going on, it's like, "Okay, okay, yeah, yeah." Mm-hmm. It's it just it connecting the show and the comics like this really makes it click. Yeah. And envisioning this Negan with Jeffrey Dean Morgan's voice is actually pretty freaking hilarious in your head. <laughs> Yeah, and you know what? He's and he's gonna play it well because he's a great actor, Jeffrey yeah. Dean Morgan. You know, he's he's and I think he's gonna play it really well. Although I still like this version, this oh, visual yeah. version of him. But, um, I mean, uh, you know, oh, this is one other thing I wanted to mention. They they pop into Eugene's house and they see the the one panel. They see the the radio, and what's all this? So that may be he may have some answering to do. He may have some answering to do. You and know. then again, I think maybe. Next issue, and it's a far-fetched prediction here, but somehow this is around the time they normally contact each other each day. Maybe. Oh, they might. Well, they might. Yeah, they might. It might happen. Yeah. Yeah. Eugene, so, are you there? Yeah. Or I, I don't know. Is that a woman or a man's voice in your head? Oh shit. Because. I think I think it's a dude. At first, I think I made it a woman, but I. I think we have their name, but. I, yeah. Again, between the show and this, I get it all I'm not confused. Going yeah, if you guys remember, yeah. if you guys are, if you guys, are, if it's forefront in your memory, if it's a boy or a girl, a man or a woman, let us know. Um, I mean, so that's basically it. Um, uh, I know initially it was a woman in my head. I don't know. Why. I think so too. So maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Um, I mean, anything. I mean, there really isn't anything else. Um, I think we've been through it through it all. I mean, if you haven't read it, you know, first of all, go, go read, read it and, definitely, and then finish this this episode um, of the review. But I mean. It's just it, here's my, here's my closing. It's power. Thoughts. It is. That's why I'm saying like when you were like, oh, I, I I didn't you know you didn't really like it. I'm like, but dude, there's like this is again. This is like this. Oh, it's of, not that I didn't like it. It's like I said, lacking. it felt you short it and lacking. lacking, lacking yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. See, but I now though, I realize I, why, and that yeah. was a kind of stupid reason. It's like come I on. always feel they're lacking in the way that I want them to keep going. Because I want I, more I want content. That's what it is. I just want to keep reading. You know. Listen, binge- I, I guess I'm used to binge reading. That's a few the things. thing. Binge reading these coming up was like fucking amazing, you know. And then it's like, damn. I went through. Right. I reread them, so it's like, yeah, god dang it. Yeah. So, all right. So, uh, my my closing thought on this man is that I don't really trust Negan still. <laughs> regardless of all that we just talked about i really don't trust negan i don't think rick is going to either i don't think rick is going to be dumb and and trust him my prediction may be that this might be a long con okay where because he's fucking negan and i don't and he and i don't think he's changed i think he realizes when he's lost and his and he's choosing his battles which is he's not battling right now I think there's going to be I think there's going to be something. I think it's going to end up when he can, he's going to hurt Rick. That's 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 I still think that. It's a long con. Something that made me change my mind cuz I was thinking that around a little bit the same, but something that made me change my mind was definitely when he said in that cell, seeing that happen like that, that's what I was 
uh, that's what he was doing. He was thinking about it. He was seeing yeah. like how everybody happened, why everything like that was happening. And so I don't think he's going to long con it. I think what's going to happen, and this is like five issues down the road, probably. The saviors come in, and they see he's out and about. So they try to bring Negan back into their fold. But, uh, you know, okay. Okay. he's no longer leader of the Saviors. It's going to be Sherry that's leader of the Saviors. So he, he's like, no. Yeah. No. Yeah, okay. And he fakes going over there probably. He probably snaps Sherry's neck or something like that. I don't know. I, I have a feeling that Negan off. has turned. Okay. And it, it's just a gut feeling. But then again, Kirkman could say, you know what? He's got to keep it. Negan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, and wouldn't, would it be boring if he, if he, did, if, if he did turn? Like would it, no, would it be no, kind it of wouldn't. boring if he if he think of this. If he turned in two years to their side, how long is it gonna take him to turn on them? Again. Oh, meaning uh, meaning Rick. Well, to, Negan. How how long is it gonna take Negan to turn on Rick if they bring I'm him saying. into the yeah. fold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So may, maybe it could be a very long con, maybe like yeah. a year down the road, Negan. Well turns. that's what I'm thinking. That I, that's that's my opinion right now still. You know, but I, I, I get. Know. But I bet you. I want him to be good. I, I I would like it. I think it'd be really cool if they teamed up because he could be his Daryl in the comic. Well, you got to think about it this way. <laughs> you know, if you kill everyone that opposes you and you don't bring any of them in, you're going to run out of people to oppose you later on, and that's well, going to end the comic. <laughs> well, this is well, this is, and don't forget, this is also why Rick did this. This is why Rick took him and yeah. did not kill him. Democracy, this is you know, giving reason. people a second chance. You know, yet he's still like, "Fuck, I, really, I shouldn't have done this." <laughs> he still thinks he probably should have killed him. But whatever. I mean, I, honestly, if you want to look at it objectively, Negan has actually done many things to prove that he's on their side. I still yeah. don't trust him. I don't think anyone still trusts him, and I think that's the right thing to do. I think don't trust him. Don't trust him. Don't trust I him. I have a part in my mind that doesn't trust him, but I want to trust him. I, w- I want to be like, come on, yeah. give the guy a chance. Yeah. Even though I know it's going to result in someone getting their head bashed in. Probably. Probably. Most likely. Anyway, is that it? I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Guys, uh, please, as always, let us know what you think about this comic and, and definitely send give us your, your theories on what you think is going to happen with Negan and Rick and, and with the saviors coming into the town. I can't wait. That's going to be great. Whether it's the next issue or the following issue, I think it's going to be fucking great. I think it's going to take two more issues to clear out. Probably. Everything. Probably. But I'm really intrigued. And plus the whole, this the uh, them taking care of this herd is still fucking really cool. Yeah. You know, it's really fucking cool. So, um... Guys, I think that's going to do it for us. And uh, I do want to go ahead and uh, tell you one thing about... You want to do talk about Comic Blitz real quick? All right. So, unfortunately, Comic Blitz, our new friends, don't have The Walking Dead. They do, however, have access to over 4,500 comics. And it's all available for $3 for the first three months, $1 a month, if you use the code ThirdPersonPod. That's short, simple, sweet, 4,500 comics right there at your fingertips on your iOS devices, your laptops, your desktops, and coming soon to Android. Android. Yeah. I checked. They don't have it out yet. They have it on their, like, low... On I their, check like, about promo. once a week. Yeah, they have, they have it on, the, on their promo images, but it's not it's not up there yet, so... Yeah, uh, not yet. But, uh, yeah, so, guys, go check it out. ComicBlitz.com. Get yourself uh, three months of comics for three bucks and uh, get yourself unlimited comics and get, it, get in on it. Um, thank you very much for watching again. And uh, please go check out all the videos. Uh, Season 7 of Walking Dead is back, and we're doing videos on that again. And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, let us know what you think about this issue. And we will see you on the next comic review here at Third Person. So peace out. Bye.